everyone, Amy Love here. I'm here to share with you a snippet roll that I created using a lot of beautiful goodies from Angel Green Crafts on Etsy. And I'm very excited to share it with you because if you've been here for any length of time, you know how much I love a snippet roll. <laughs> but uh, for this snippet roll, I decided to do a lot of um, just hand sewing on it because I find it so relaxing after work to sit with my husband and watch whatever we're going to watch on Netflix or whatever and just to sew the pieces on and I, I enjoyed that very much. So I actually created the snippet roll for a swap that I hosted in my group so I hope my partner loves it. It's uh, sewn together with some pink silk, um, sorry silk got that attached right there with this beautiful crocheted flower that someone gifted me forever ago so I don't recall who it was but I love it I finally used it and so on the back I actually did uh, hand sew this lace to the back of the base but then I this was the only thing that I glued on was this trim and that beautiful trim is available at Angel Dream Crafts of course and I have the snippet roll attached to one of these gorgeous um, pegs that I altered and shared in an earlier video. So I thought, how cute would that be? So it is attached to that, but it comes loose. So my partner can use it however she pleases. But then I just sewed the bits on. I had such a great time. This is from a trim from Angel Dream Crafts. On top of some lace snippets, there's some doilies, some buttons from my stash, some pearls, rhinestone trim that came from Angel Dream Crafts, um, a little charm, a rhinestone charm, some buttons, um, one of Kim's pink rolled roses, a heart charm. These are the words from. Um, why can I never remember? I know you're probably yelling at, at me right now. <laughs> Where do we got these printables, Kim? Okay, I'm gonna put the link below because for whatever reason, brain fog, I cannot remember the name of the place right now. But we use these all the time. I love them. They're the little uh, vocabulary words and I just um, attached them to some fusible fleas and then cut them out and sewed them on so that they'd be a little puffy. So cute. And then there's just layers upon layers of goodies. And there's bling from her shop on there. And then just snippets from lace trims from her shop. I mean, I really enjoyed putting this together so much. I love the way it came out. I just love the layers and all the hand sewing. I had the best time doing it. So I did sew the base on my machine, but then I added everything just by hand stitching. Absolutely loved the entire process of creating the snippet roll. So I, like I say, I hope my partner loves it because I certainly loved making it. This is the peg that I chose to use, the one with Karen Billinger's butterfly on it. It's adorable. And then I wanted to make a bag to put the snippet roll in to gift it to my partner. So I made this out of, do I have one of these handy? Yeah, I think I do, I have one of them up here. Um, the last time I was at my local antique store, they had a set that had this and then two smaller pieces with it. So I used one of the smaller pieces to make this little bag, which you can tell better on that side. But I just sewed it on my machine on the edges, and that's all the sewing that was required there. And then I added just a strip of shabby fabric, which is the same fabric that's on the base of the snippet roll that you can barely see. <laughs> and then I used this beautiful, um, I like to call it a petal trim that I got from Angel Dream Crafts along with the um, cup chain. And then these two snippets are from uh, laces from her shop. 
I added this gorgeous piece of bling from my stash. And then I made this flower from uh, a pink shabby rosette from Kim's store. And then these beautiful flowers that Kim has in the shop right now is on top. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. So I enjoyed making this so much. I actually have already started another one because I, I had so much fun. And you know what I think I liked about this most is normally if you go back and you look at my snippet roll videos, I'm like a theme. <laughs> I'm a theme girl. And I make snippet rolls in all kinds of themes. So what I enjoyed and challenged myself with on this one, it was just to not have a theme. And, and just enjoy randomly putting the bits on. And I got to tell you, that was so much fun. So much fun. So um, there you have it. There's my snippet roll. And of course, there is a link below to Kim's shop so you can get some goodies. There's also a link to my Facebook group if you would like to get on um, in on some of our swaps. We've been having a lot of great swaps lately. So um, I hope to see you there and I will s please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think below and give me a thumbs up and I will see everybody on the next one. Bye.